Welcome to the Positive Productivity Podcast, episode number 47. Welcome to Positive Productivity Podcast, where we empower our audience to achieve and appreciate personal and professional success, especially in the face of adversity. Listen in as our guests reveal their stories of challenges and hurdles and how they overcame defeat and became triumphant in their endeavors. Let's get motivated and move forward with your host, Kim Sutton. I have a simple question for you. Why do you do what you do? Another way I could ask you is, what is your why? Here's why I'm asking this question. In the years since I became an entrepreneur, I've done a lot of chasing of other people's successes and passions and dreams. And to be quite honest with you, I've followed their strategies to the point where I've even tried to build similar products to other people just because I wanted the income outcome that they were achieving. Oftentimes, however, I failed to finish the project because the passion was not there. I was not intrigued by what the other people were doing, and I ended up just feeling empty. Although my motive was right, I wanted to make an income and help support my family, my why was not attached to the projects I was working on. Lately, I've been asking in a lot of Facebook and LinkedIn groups, what is your why? I've really wanted to get a feel for what people in my community are doing and how I can support them, and I've been surprised by the responses I've been receiving. Often the responses have been, I want to support my family, or I want to raise my children in a loving environment, or I want my mother or father to be proud of me. While these are all great causes and great motives, there are so many different things that we can do in our life to achieve these results. I know, for example, that I could earn an income in very many different ways, not just working in my business and supporting my clients in the way that I love to do. For example, I could have gone to school to be a doctor. However, I cannot stand blood. And while I would have made a great income, hopefully, I would have been in a job that I really didn't enjoy and probably wasn't making the impact that I should have been because my heart would not have been in my work. Often we're asked, what do you do? And that's when we answer our job description. But how often do people ask, what is your motive? Yes, I do believe this is different from my why. It's important to me that my family be secure, that we have a roof over our head, food on the table, and clothes on our body. But there are so many ways that that can be achieved. And I don't know about you, but I would prefer to be doing a job I love to achieve the results I desire. So what is your why? What impact are you trying to make on the world? And why are you passionate about doing it? While you're trying to figure out this answer, I want you to take out any thought about income. Only think about impact. If money wasn't an issue, what would you want to be working on in this life that would make an impact on others? Chances are there's plenty of ways that you could be pulling your why into your self-employment and find additional passion in your work while still achieving all of your income goals and desires. Lately, I have been pulling out of some Facebook groups because all that I see are boasting posts about vacations and homes and clothes and all the this is and that's that people are purchasing as a result of their hard work. Yes, this is great. It's wonderful that they're able to buy the things that they dreamed of buying before. However, 
What impact are they really trying to have on the audience around them by sharing these details of their life? Often these posts are accompanied by a message like, I made $10,000 last month, and here's how you can do it too. Sign up for your discovery session here. This saddens me because it's really taking away all of the impact that they're trying to make. Yes, I realize they could be trying to help people make money, but if that's the only focus, then I feel bad for both sides of the party. When I engage on social media, I look for the impactful posts. I look for the posts where people are being transparent and authentic and sharing the struggles that they've been through and the achievements that they've made since then. These are the posts where people are opening up and bearing their souls. And for that, I applaud them. It takes a lot of courage to open yourself up to people that you don't even know like that. And when you're doing it out of good and you're trying to make an impact on the community around you, I have to applaud you. If you're struggling right now thinking about what your why really is, aside from feeding your kids and putting gas in your car, here's a few questions that you can ask. What do your friends and family say that you are really good at? What do your friends and family say are your very best qualities? What do you enjoy doing for other people that even if you didn't make a dime doing it, you would still do it day in and day out? These are all tricky questions, I know, and often they take a little bit of self-reflection, so it might be beneficial if you do a little bit of journaling right now to think about it. But as you're moving forward for the rest of this week, for the rest of this month, and for the rest of the year, I want you to think about every new opportunity that comes into your business. Does that opportunity sync with your why? I'm sure the opportunities will work well for your motive. Hey, I won't deny that I've said yes to a few opportunities just because I knew that they would put food in the fridge. But moving forward, that's not enough for me. I want to make sure that I'm passionate about the projects that I'm working on. I want to make sure that the projects that I'm working on are in line with my why and that I will love working on those projects from the very beginning all the way through the end. Often, if we're not passionate about the work that we're doing, it's easy to start and then fade off. And unfortunately, often we we just drop the project by the time it's even finished. So look at all these opportunities. Are you going to be as excited working on it today as you will be in another year or two? Or do you need to reevaluate and possibly say no and wait for an opportunity that is more in sync with your passions to come along? Stop worrying about your income and worry about the impact that you are making. This is where you're going to find the difference between your why and your motives. If you'd like any help figuring out what your why is, I invite you to visit the coaching page at thekimsutton.com forward slash coaching to find out more about how I help clients determine their why and build the framework to support it in their personal and professional lives. With your why in mind, go forth and have a positive and productive day. Hey there, this is Kim Sutton, host of the Positive Productivity Podcast, and I just want to take a quick moment to thank you for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed it and were inspired, I would love to hear your feedback. Please take a moment or two and visit the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or on my website at thekimsutton.com to leave your rating or review. I'd also like to invite you to join the Positive Productivity Book Club and to find out more about my coaching packages by visiting thekimsutton.com. Until the next episode, I hope you have a positive and productive day.